started going on the road with rock bands in the summer of 1970. Fresh out of high school, I knew what I didn't want. Going into the military to fight a war I didn't understand, or accept a low-paying job that I would hate, or even going to college to prepare for the typical nine-to-five grind. Stress haunted me about the many unattractive options. And then it came to me one day, as if the thought was magically placed into my head. Sitting in a high school gym watching a rock concert, I remember it like it was yesterday. The group was called Redbone. The band had two top 40 hits and dressed up like a group of Indian chiefs with a war band. From that day forward, all I wanted was to live the carefree emotions that rock and roll brought to many of us back then. channel for truth about crooked politics, oppressive corporate structure, but above all, taught us countless ways to describe love and heartache. I always wanted to tour with a rock and roll band, and you know what? I did. Not as a musician, but uh, as a roadie. I mean, I never imagined that my passion for music could evolve into this lifelong career. Rody Village here was made to relive those memories, those countless tales that could only happen on the road with a famous rock band in the most unrepeatable era in rock music history, from Woodstock to arena rock. Back then, rock bands were like gods, and I got to know many of them. I mean, we traveled the world together. We, we, we partied with pretty girls together, and rock and roll excesses were common. I lived through it, and now I can tell you my story. My name's Johnny Taylor. And I'm about to take you all on a rock and roll journey that you will never forget as we raid the rock ball together.